Hi there, and welcome to Hyundai Power Equipment. My name's Adrian, and today we're going to look at the HYM430 SP lawnmower. Um, we'll get the contents of the box on the table and we'll have a look at them. So I've emptied all the contents onto the table and removed the packaging, and I'm going to show you exactly what's inside the box. First of all, you've got the lawnmower assembly itself with the handle folded on top. Then you've got your 45 litre grass catching basket, your mulching plug, a user manual, a quick start guide, which basically explains what I'm going to do in this video, and a Hyundai warranty registration form. Now, there's several ways to uh, register your warranty. Um, if you just look through the sheets, it'll show you the, the several ways. You can do it online, you can fill this in and post it back to us. Um, there's a few ways to do it. Okay, so that's your warranty registration form. And that's the contents of your box. Next, we shall move on to assembling the handle. There's actually very little assembly that needs to be done on this mower, with the exception of the handle, and that involves four bolts and four wing nuts. So the first step will be to take your handle, taking care not to bend um, the control cables, um, you know, excessively, and put the handle over to this side prior to assembly. The next step will be to remove this wing nut just comes off anti-clockwise as a normal nut the small metal pigtail the washer and we can leave that bolt in the position for the, main, for the moment and the next step will be to place that bolt through the hole in the top plate Replace the washer, replace this pigtail, um, you'll see that it's got a loop on it, the end of the loop to the outside of the mower, and then replace the wing nut. Get it started. We'll put that loop facing downwards. And I'll do exactly the same on the other side. Undo the wing nut. Remove the washer. Place the handle in position. It will just flex over the top. Taking care not to trap the cables. Back on with the washer. On with the wing nut. And tighten it up. That's the top half of the handles fitted. So I'll do exactly the same on the other side. Remove the wing nut. Remove the washer. Lift the top half of the handle up to align with the bolt, taking care not to trap these control cables. Refit the washer. Refit the wing nut. Line it up. Tighten it up. There we are. And that's the top half of the handle fitted to the lower half. So having fitted the top half of the handle, we now need to fold the handle up into its operator position to affix the bottom half. Same procedure again. Remove the wing nuts. We'll remove that bolt completely, place them to one side. Do the same on this side of the mower. place them to one side. So the next thing we do is to swing the mower handle right over the top, taking care not to trap the cables at this point, into its operator position and then place the bolts from the inside towards the out in the holes, just adjusting the handle slightly until they locate. You can do both of these at once if you like. There we are, that's that one. Back on with the washer, on with the wing nut, tighten it up, same this side, on with the washer, on with the wing nut, and there we have it, that's the handle assembled. 
Having assembled the handle, the next thing to do is to place the pull start in the operator position up here. Now, I don't want this lawnmower to start. Um, I know it's got no oil and no fuel in it because it's brand new and out of the box. So I know it's not going to start. However, if um, you want to pull this handle out and you definitely don't want the lawnmower to start, I suggest you just pull the spark plug cap off so that there's absolutely no chance of it starting. And I'll give you a close up of that in a moment. So what you need to do is pull out the pull starter and place it in the operator position there and that's the convenient position for starting the mower without having to bend over to pull start it. To remove the spark plug cap, the spark plug cap is here, black, next to the uh, rocker cover. Simply pull the spark plug cap and tuck it to one side and that will avoid any unwanted starts while working on the machine. To replace it, simply place the cap back over the top, locate it and press down firmly. And that's removing the spark plug cap. The next step is to fill the engine with engine oil. The lawnmower will ship to you without engine oil and it's imperative that you put engine oil in the engine before starting. The oil you need is a 1030 or 1540 grade engine oil and it's filled through the dipstick here. I'll give you a little close up of that. The first thing to do is to unscrew the dipstick. Quarter turn anti-clockwise and a quarter turn clockwise to lock it in place. So quarter turn anti-clockwise out with the dipstick. On the bottom of the dipstick there are some serrations. L on the bottom for low oil, H on the top. It needs to come to the top of the serrations, the oil level needs to come to the top of the serrations just below the H. To fill the engine oil, using a suitable jug, pour the engine oil in down through this spout. It takes approximately 600 millilitres to fill the engine. Um, I'd probably recommend that you put about 400 millilitres in. Leave it settle to run down the tube into the engine itself before testing it with a dipstick. If you test it too quickly, you'll purely be dipping into the engine oil that's still in the long spout. So pour in your engine oil. Just place the dipstick on the bottom, no need to lock it off. Bring the dipstick out and check the oil level. If it's low, add more, and so on and so forth until you reach the ideal level, which is just below the little letter H that's stamped on your dipstick. Once you're happy that the level is up to its high level, back in with the dipstick, quarter turn clockwise, ensuring that it's tight, and that's the engine oil filled. The next step will be to fuel your lawnmower. Fuel filler cap is here, one safety note, never fill the lawnmower with the engine running, never fill the lawnmower when the engine is hot, and never overfill the fuel tank. Okay. The fuel cap is retained by a little nylon spring. You can remove the fuel cap, and from a suitable container, trying to avoid spillage, pour fuel into the fuel tank. As I say, don't overfill it, leave probably an inch of gap on the top or 25 mil of gap on the top of the fuel. And simply screw the fuel cap back on firmly and that's the lawnmower oiled and fueled. So now we're going to show you how to start your lawnmower. From cold you will need to press this plunger approximately three to four times from when it's stone cold and had no fuel in it. So one, two, three, four you will hear the fuel squirting through. When the engine is warm, you won't need to use it. There is a little chart on the side and shows approximations. So very cold, three to four, 10 to 20 degrees, two to three, that sort of thing. Greater than 20 degrees, one. If it's warm and you've been running, you won't need to push it at all. It acts as a choke. So to start your lawnmower, you will need to pull back the front handle fully against the grip. This is called an OPC handle, uh, Operator Present Control, and it's to ensure that you haven't got any hands down under the lawnmower when you start the engine. So you pull this lever back, pull start it as normal with the pull starter, the engine will start. Once the engine is running, to stop the engine, release 
the OPC handle or the operator present handle. So when you release this handle the engine will stop and it won't start unless you pull this handle back. The rear handle is your drive. Once you've started the lawnmower, if you pull up the rear handle, the drive will engage and off your lawnmower will go. To attach your grass collection basket, simply lift up the rear flap. You will see these two bars, the shiny metal bars here, and the hooks on your basket. Simply place the hooks over the bar, drop it in position, and that's the basket fitted. To remove the basket, lift the flap, lift up, and your basket is available to be emptied. Once emptied, straight back on, and that's how you fit your grass collection basket. For mulching, take your mulching plug, have the radius end at the top, lift up the flap, place the peg in the bottom hole, in with the plug, and that's your mulching plug fitted. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit HyundaiPowerEquipment.co.uk. I've been Adrian and happy mowing!